Can you believe it? We've reached round 21. Welcome to the first crack. At least five massive games. In fact, they're all massive, aren't we? Yep. As they head into the weekend. Probably none more so than Scott Pendlebury and his big celebration and some huge incoming players for both uh, the Blues and the Magpies for that game and uh, back into the team again this week. In fact, they weren't even dropped last week. It's Joe Montagna <laughs> and David <laughs> King. could be. <laughs> Welcome, gents. Hi, can, hello, I, can I ask you the first question off the top? What's the most important of all the games this weekend? Sure. Ooh, that's a tough one. <laughs> I'd, I'd say Port Adelaide and Sydney. I want mm. to see if Sydney are going to gather and, and come again or, or is this just going to fritter away? I think the Essendon and Freo game is massive for both teams. Essendon, this is it, season on the line to play finals. Fremantle to try and finish top two. And if they can finish top two, then they're a serious challenger. But it's a massive game for both teams. All right, Joey, you're going to lead us off tonight with your first crack. Yeah, I am, and it's a massive one, as you spoke about Saturday night, Collingwood-Carlton um, and the Pies. I still think there is a faint pulse to play finals and, of course, Pendle's big milestone game. But for me, it's all going to hinge on their ability as a midfield group to supply the forwards, to get the ball inside 50 to these, this forward line for Collingwood because that is the issue at the moment for the Pies, that they are just not getting enough ball in there. And if they can... I think they can trouble Carlton. Oh, I think there is a chance they'll, they'll be emotionally charged for Pendlebury's game, but they've got to give themselves a shot. And this is just since round 14. So the last six weeks, you take a look at the score involvements, and other than your boy Nick Kingy, the rest of them just haven't been able to get involved in offence enough and give the, the forwards enough opportunity. You can see there the score involvements, where they rank in the competition over that period of time. They've all had their moments where they've been OK as individual players. And Josh Dacos played well last week and uh, Crisp a few weeks ago, but just as a collective at the moment, and they're not getting it done enough. And this is the issue. They're 17th in the competition for inside 50s in that time. But when they get it in, they're the second best team in the competition at scoring. The second best. So they've just got to give their forwards a supply. And this is the reason why. This is for the season. Jamie Elliott is the number one player when targeted inside 50 and his team leading to a score. And Bobby Hill is sixth in the competition. And they are in pretty good nick, these boys. Mm. I was at the game last week against Richmond. I think they are they are chomping at the bit for more ball. And not just these two, but with Dan McStay back into the side. I thought he looked really sharp last week. So he's scored, he's, um, when he's been targeted, it's led to a score 85% of the time. Now, that's only a small sample size, so he doesn't fit into the... Into the criteria, but that's elite. That is off yep. the charts for him as well. So I just want to see these Collingwood midfielders and half backs as well, like Quaynor and Maynard and, and Crisp and Pendlebury and these sorts of guys just get the ball in, as people would yell on the couch at home, because I'm liking the way these guys are moving. They, they're looking sharp, and we've spoken about the vulnerabilities of the Carlton defenders at the moment. They're a bit susceptible when it's one on one, when, when it's quick play. I know they've got a pretty good team defence, but I'm just excited for this game. I think it'll be a massive occasion, and as we touched on last week, this is what it looks like. Jacob Weeding wins his one-on-ones. He does not get beaten, but the rest of the team are 17th out of the 18 in the competition and winning cat, their one-on-one. So I want to see this opportunity, and, and I think the Pies can cause it, can cause an upset potentially. Here. Well, just those numbers there, Joey. So from a Carlton point of view, you can't allow rope a dope. You can't allow weedering to be taken away yeah. from the drop zone, away from that north to. Th he should own that north to 30 corridor. It space. frustrates me. He gets dictated a little bit yeah. too much on All who the plays time. on him rather than him deciding mm. where he wants to stand, who he wants to play on. So Collingwood will have their plans, and if they can get Bobby Hill and Jamie Allen in particular at ground level, phew, watch out. Well, in terms of what this game means, it's, it's huge, isn't it? Uh, with uh, Carlton only winning one of the last four, uh, if Collingwood win, uh, they will... Uh, well, Car Carlton, uh, if Carlton win, of course, uh, they'll be... Uh, They'll be... No, that's <laughs> if Carlton <laughs> lose. If Carlton but... lose, they'll be down yeah, to eighth. I win. can't read Remo notes. <laughs> uh, and, and obviously Collingwood remain in tenth and start to put yeah. the pressure on. But if it's the other way around, uh, then things are, things are quite different and the Blues can really consolidate their place in the top four. It's massive for Carlton, isn't it? This is just a game they should be expected to win. Now, they're favourites and, and all that. And you can see there, it's finished top, stay in the top four or be just hanging by a third in eighth spot, depending on the result. And Collingwood, as we said, they'll still be hanging in. They'll still have a, have a chance. But this is it. Season yeah. on you can go back to having the predictive <laughs> the next I gave one. it to yeah. you this week. Completely... And that's if all the favourites win. That would that's be what it looks like. You've slaughtered that hard. <laughs> <laughs> Easy to read at home. Hard to read in here. Um, it's, they're a bit stiff playing Collingwood with the Pendlebury. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. That milestone, the emotion, the crowd. It's their, not their grand final, but it's like an elimination final for them. And how do they deal with that And too? if Mojo has been a bit of a factor for Collingwood this yeah. year, you know, this is the one that you just do get yourself up for. Degoe back into the team. He'll be charged and, and pumped. And, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. 